All right, guys, good morning. And today's video is about the electrical portion of the autopilot. Um, we're gonna be connecting first the ECU. And why it's so important to start with the ECU? Well, the reason is the cables on the pump cannot be extended. That's what we're gonna start with this morning. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna mount it next to the pump. See, these cables here cannot be extended. So I think the ECU is gonna go right here. I'm gonna connect the wires to see how far I can install this. I can go as far as right here. Perfect. And I will leave this disconnected for now. Now it's time to connect the GH20. I'm going to make sure that it's perfectly level and center and be careful you don't hit the screen. I'm going to place this gasket that's provided. Now there's a trim cover that's provided to cover those bolts and first we're going to take out the plastic. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now it's time to connect the CCU reactor. This is the compass that's going to tell the heading to the uh, autopilot. And this is important to be installed away from magnetics and heavy metals. So I'm going to show you where I'm going to install it. Alright, so this is the backbone that comes with the unit. There's three of these. So I went in Amazon and I got a Ford backbone connector and later on I'm going to connect these ones here too because I'm going to need more. So I didn't want to have like eight of these attached so that way this is more sturdy by having four and then add the other ones to the side of it. And also the Garmin unit comes with very long cables. Uh, some of them are real long. I don't need this very long cables and it's going to be extra weight on the boat. So what I did was I went to Amazon I got a foot and a half cables. They're short and look how small they are. So that way I can save room and I don't have this clutter uh, worth of cables. The reason Garmin gives you longer cables is because they don't know where you're going to install them. But in my case, 1.6 feet cable, uh, two of my connections are only going to need these long cables. So reduce on weight and also on clutter of uh, wires. They're very small. All right, so when you're going to install the CCU, it has to be away from magnetics. Like there's a compass right up there this heavy metals and also away from the pump and all this electronics. So this is where I have my heading sensor for the Raymarine and this is exactly where I'm going to connect the CCU. It blends in really good. You can hardly see it since it's black and it's in a great position. It's away from all those metals over here, way up here. So that's going to be perfect. So I'm going to start right here and the 1.6 wire is going to reach perfect. Perfect, and it's away from metals, away from everything here. Now I have to connect the four backbone connector. And I'm thinking about installing it right here where I used to have the other backbone connector. Like this, right around here to the backbone connection. Very secure right here very easy to get to and I'm gonna need more backbones in the future so I'm just gonna add it on right here so I can keep going this way and have more real estate here for more connection for the NMEA 2000 and if I need more I can always go on this side too I'm going to disconnect this right now because I'm gonna to have to connect power to the backbone in order for the backbone to work it needs power All right, this is the power cable for the NMEA 2000 this is what gets connected to the power source and they do advise to connect this with a switch a battery switch because if you leave this connected directly to your battery it will drain your battery so they say to connect it to a switch in my case I'm gonna connect it 
on the BART switch here because I always disconnect the batteries from the boat when not in use so that way it doesn't drain my battery so this is going to be perfect to be installed right here and already has a 3 amp fuse and this power wire is what powers the uh, backbone all right black one and on the red one put another connector on it I do have the battery switch off very important I'm going to connect the negative on this side here. Now I'm going to secure this wire all the way through here to the backbone. And the power is going to be connected right here in the backbone. It is better to connect the power source of the backbone as middle as possible because that way you distribute the power better. Now the next thing that needs power is the ECU. And this is the power cable they provide. It says ECU power cable. They do recommend to install this directly to the battery, but since I have two batteries, if I connect it to one battery, when I switch to the other battery, it will shut off my autopilot. So I'm going to connect it directly to the power bar. All right, this power cable is too long, so I'm going to cut it. And after I cut it, I will place this fuse back into the cable exactly like they have here. But first, I want to know how much cable I need. All right, we're gonna cut it right here. Now we're gonna disconnect it before we cut it. We got this access wire that I don't need, and it's also heavy for the boat. Now we're going to disconnect the positive here, and I'm going to use this hit shrink. So see now the wire is a lot shorter, and I took off all this excess wire that I didn't need. Now I'm going to connect this to the power source. Now I'm going to connect the positive on this side here. I have an extra slot and I left about six inches extra of wire here. The power wire for the ECU is already connected. I'm going to take it out for now. All right, now the last two wires, which is a wire that goes from the CCU to the ECU. And also on this wire, there's two wires to connect a buzzer and also two more wires to connect the uh, shadow drive. Which... All right, and this four wires right here is where I'm going to connect the shadow drive and also the buzzer. Now this wire you cannot cut. It's all one piece, so you cannot cut it. But this one, you can cut it if you like and just take out some of the wires to connect it. But the wire from the ECU and the CCU, you cannot cut. And the connectors, you cannot get confused because you see the colors. This one is green. And this one here is purple. So right there is purple. So you can't get confused. And the wires get hidden back here. So this wire here, we're gonna have to roll it up and tie it back here. All the way from here to here perfect now the last wire is going to be the shuttle drive and the buzzer so definitely this is too much unnecessary wire here so I'm just going to use what I need I'm going to measure it but I'm going to keep a little bit just in case in the future I need to adjust anything it's a lot of wire that we don't need back here accumulated taking any room
All right, got the hitch ring connectors already installed for the shadow drive and the alarm. All right, so this is the alarm here. And definitely this wire is too long, so we're gonna cut it. Manufacturers always gonna give you a little bit more wire because they don't know where you're gonna be installing this. So they give you a little bit extra wire. Now the alarm wire has a wire mesh inside, so it's a little difficult to open it up. All right, so the white wire will go with the orange wire. Now the black alarm wire goes with the blue. So now the alarm is connected already. Now I need to go to the shutter drive. In the shutter drive are these two wires, the black and the gray. Now let's connect that shutter drive. The last piece of equipment that I need to connect. And the shutter drive has a lot of wires, so I only need about two feet. I'm gonna leave a little bit extra wire, just in case in the future I need to remove it. About two feet. Access wire. Save it for something else. Never throw away those wires because sometimes you will need a wire to connect anything and you have extra wires, especially good quality wires. I just want to open up the housing of this wire. All right, remember for the shadow drive, the only thing you need is the black wire and the red wire. This wire here, just discard it because this two ends is what the factory gave us and that's the cable I cut away. So here we do not need this stainless steel wire. Just gonna cut it off. All right, so the wire of the shutter drive got black with black and then red with brown. Now on all these sealed shrink wrap seals, I'm gonna put some electrical tape to keep them in place. Since this wire is a little bit thin, I'll take the wires a little bit. Right, so the shadow drive and the buzzer is already installed. Now I need to connect the pump and also connect the CCU and the GC20. And I'm going to connect the GHC20. Now I'm going to connect the sharp plotter. Connect the sharp plotter to the backbone. Something very important to complete the connection of the enemy A2000. You need to have back ends to plug them. If you don't put the back ends on it, the terminators, the system is not going to work. So the terminators must be connected, one on the other side. Now it's time to connect the pump. And the last thing we need to do is connect the power. So now everything is connected. Everything is ready to go. Everything is secure. The hydraulic is good, shadow drive, buzzard, everything's ready to go. So now I'm gonna turn the power on. Okay, store demonstration, off. Okay, continue. All right, so I already said the Dockside Wizard. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have to do the Sea Trout Wizard. But today I already did the dockside wizard and the system is working perfect. Let me show you. I'm gonna press the button to the left and you'll see the motor change. Direction. All right, so it's working perfect. Left and right. And of course on the water, it's gonna be less noisy. The hydraulic portion, the electrical, everything is set. So the only thing I need to do tomorrow is do the sea trial to make sure that everything is working fine. All right guys, thank you for watching. I will place the link in the description below of everything I use on this installation if it helps you. And I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.